hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another thrift with me video it is ben's day i'm so excited i love ben's day um i am heading there right now it's 8 30 i will be there probably by 9 a.m and i will be there until about three so i'm there for a good chunk of time i'm digging through all the things to find all the good stuff and you're gonna come with me <laughs> at the end of the video i'm going to have a haul to show you everything that I picked up during this trip today and kind of go over what I plan to sell it for or maybe some brands to be on the lookout for some bolos so stay tuned for that we are gonna head there um, I don't know how busy it's gonna be today it is Labor Day it's Monday so I will try to film as much as I can and bring you along enjoy the ride um, yeah if you're new here, hi, my name is Danielle. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark, and I like to make videos to show you guys what I get. So, <laughs> um, it's also things that I'm selling, you know, within my business that may help you as well. Some new brands to learn, some new things to be on the lookout for, um, things that are selling consistently for me, that sort of thing. So it's mostly just to hang out with me if you're also a reseller but you can learn a few things so <laughs> join me we're gonna head head there right now after i get my coffee and then we're gonna do some digging and i'm really excited let's go bad. I literally just got here like 20 minutes ago. Okay, it's been a long day. <laughs> I just left, it's like 3.45 and I spent $86, I got 50 pounds. So, here she is. Woo wee, I also got some stuff for my daughter and some stuff for me and all that jazz. So, stay tuned for the haul, it's a good one. I got a lot of stuff, you guys. Hello everyone, welcome to the haul portion of this video. I am going to show you everything that I picked up during this trip and it's uh, it's a big one. It's <laughs> I got some good things. Um, honestly, this is from like a week and a half ago, so I am slacking on my haul videos. I apologize. I'm trying to get in the hang of things now that Marlo is back in school. So slowly but surely, I will be able to post more videos. That's That's the goal. So here we go. Um, I have quite a bit of shoes. I have some stuffies, which is always fun to pick up. And then a few bags and the rest will be clothes. But first up, let's start with shoes. These are from the brand Charlie One Horse, which is um, 
Lucchese, I think that's how you say it. Um, they make really nice boots, um, Western style boots. And these are just from that line, I guess. I had never heard of them before, but I knew that they were nice. They are leather, let's see, made in Brazil. They are a size nine and a half and they are so cute. These are really stylish right now. And I have mine up for 60. We will see how those do. Um, next are a pair of Brooks sneakers. These are a size nine, I believe, yes. Um, I don't normally pick up Brooks. I know some styles do really well, but these ones are kind of okay. The sell-through rate wasn't the best, but what I did notice is that this colorway was selling more frequently than others out of this style. So I have these up for 30. These little cuties, I tried to get my daughter to wear these, but she just wasn't a fan. They are little toddler sambas so cute they're size 11 and they are in really good condition very lightly worn super cute these i have up for 35 and i also found another pair of sambas which these are a bolo right now sambas are back like crazy and the sell through rate on these guys are super super good especially this specific style, the black ones or the white colorway with the black stripes, those ones do really well. And these are a youth size four and a half, so women's six and a half. These were listed for a day and I sold them for 37. So even super beat up, look at, I disclosed all of this in the listing. I said these need a good clean, they are worn in, but they still sold, um, yeah, to someone who I hope loves them. Um, so yeah, definitely keep an eye out for Sambas. They are back like no other. These are a pair of Crocs Light Ride. They're like a sneaker style. They are a men's 13 in really good condition. I love picking up Crocs. I will always pick them up at the bins. Um, I, I will also pick them up at the Goodwill if they are for a good price, maybe half off. They're so lightweight. They fly off the shelves, AKA my store shelves, my my <laughs> my internet shelves <laughs> um i found this little guy this is just a lily pulitzer keychain zipper bag i have this up for 12. not expecting much for that but it's like new and i couldn't leave it behind i found a little rainbow bright this is a sprite i think correct me if i'm wrong i don't know if it's a sprite or if that's the color so um, this isn't vintage. I think it's 2003. So not expecting much for this. I thought it was vintage when I picked it up. Um, that's why I grabbed it, but it should maybe go for 15, 10 or 15 bucks. And then I found this guy. So cute. This is George. I can't remember his last name from Monsters Inc, but he has the little sock. He's the one in the movie that gets the sock stuck to him and they all freak out. So this is actually a Disney store edition and he will go for maybe 20 to 30. He's really soft and so cute. And then last for plush, I got, I'm gonna try something here. I got four of these Kohl's Cares. It's just the brand that they sell at Kohl's. I'm sure you guys know, but I lotted them up and I have them up, I think for 25. So this is kind of an experiment to see how they do, but they are all Dr. Seuss, so go dog go. And then this is the moose guy. Oh my gosh, I've got little hairs everywhere. <laughs> I can't remember his name, but the little moose and then the little giraffe guy and then the spot. So super cute. Um, Sell-through rate isn't the best, but I thought I would give it a shot and see how they do. Just, you know, since I found four of them, I could lot them up and yeah, like I said, an experiment. So <laughs> we'll see how things go with those. Next up is a backpack. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna remember whose backpack this is. <laughs> it's Nike. Oh my gosh, it's some basketball player. I cannot remember 
what is the K? I have it in my listing, but I can't remember what it is right now because it's not necessarily my forte. So this is a backpack, Nike backpack. These go for a fairly good amount and the sell through rate was pretty good. There were only a few that were pre-owned that were listed. The rest were brand new for I think like 80. So I have mine up for I believe 30. And the only thing that this has, which I disclosed in the listing, it has a rip to the inside lining, just right here at the top. So it's not super noticeable. You know, when you close the bag, it's not gonna, you're not gonna see that. But it could easily be stitched up if somebody kind of knew what they were doing. So I, I didn't notice that until I got home. So <laughs> um, I just disclosed it. Someone still will buy this. It may not go for as much as I planned, but that is okay. Next is a cute little Betsy Johnson Panda. This is like a weekend travel bag. It's so cute. Look at those little guys. It even has the little panda keychain dangle thing. Um, I couldn't figure out if this was vintage or like Y2K. I don't think it necessarily is. I think maybe it was one that was sold at, or somebody maybe bought it at TJ Maxx, but it is a really cute duffel bag size. I have this one up for 30. And these larger ones do um, better than the smaller bags, I guess, luggage style bags of hers. So I'm hoping that that will sell and go to a good home and be loved. <laughs> Next was a really cool find. This is a third love bra, new at tag, size 40H. So a large size, brand new. I have not listed this one yet. Um, I'm not sure what they go for online. I wanna say like $60. So I'm hoping to get 35, 40 for that. This one actually sold. It's a Gymshark kind of cropped workout t-shirt and it sold for 18 on Poshmark. I have to get that packaged up. Next is a pair of Free People. These are a super cute like gingham plaid. It's a lavender color. They're much brighter in person than what they're showing up on screen or in my photos that I took, but these will probably go for like 20 to 30. They are a small, yes. Those are so cute. They are very spring and we are heading, or spring, summer, you know, the pastels. But I think somebody that is just, you know, always wears that sort of color palette is gonna, you know, snatch those up and wear them in the fall and the winter. Chico's, these are a size three. They are just rayon like a pull-on cropped wide leg pant. I thought the color was really nice. These are a bit harder for me to sell, I've noticed, but I thought I would try again with the size three and then this kind of tan camel, camel caramel <laughs> color. <laughs> this is a new to me brand line of trade. It is 100% wool, very itchy. <laughs> It is a men's shawl cardigan sweater. And this brand does retail for quite a bit. The resale wasn't the greatest, but I thought if I kind of listed it at the right price, then it would move. So I'm hoping that that is the case. There were a few listed that were pre-owned. I wanna say in the like 50 to $60 range. So I have mine at like 35 and I'm hoping that that helps it move because the sell through rate was not that great. So. Fingers crossed for that. Here's another one that the sell through rate shocked me actually. Barefoot Dreams, I rarely find this brand. And a year, two years ago, this would have sold so quickly, but now the sell through rate is not good at all. Yeah, so in the future, I may not pick up Barefoot Dreams, but I just, realize that that could possibly be because it's been summer. So we will see how long this takes to sell and if, you know, if my hunch is true or not, but I feel like this brand is just kind of slowly fading away. But this is a larger size, it's a 1X. 
and it is like the waterfall cardigan super soft it's a striped and very cozy very you know perfect for fall and I think I have that one up for 25 or 30. Next is a new to me brand. It's by the R, which I had never heard of. These are a large. They have very funky hot topic style clothing. That's all I that's basically how I can describe it. <laughs> These are a pair of joggers with so many huge like cargo pockets. I feel like I need to scoot back. Um, so yeah, look at this honking pocket right there oh actually it's not even a pocket i don't know what it's for it's just like a little <laughs> a little flap so these um they retail for i want to say like 60 to 70. sell through rate wasn't the best so once again i need to get better about that um i pick them up because they do remind me of hot topic pants and that whole like grunge goth core movement that's going on that's why I picked them up I have them up for 45 and they do have a watcher already so that's a good sign but I'm not sure I'll probably get like 20 25 for those next is a pair of cool women's kind of hiking pants these are a size too short so <laughs> I don't know it's hard for me to leave this brand behind at the bins, even though they don't sell super quickly for me, they do eventually sell. That's why I think I keep picking them up. But these are just a really nice, in good condition. I will only pick them up if they are in good condition. And you know, somebody that's a size two short is going to need these. So I think I have those up for 25. I'll probably get 15 to 20. Next is a Nike Tech kind of sweat short. These typically sell really consistently for me in that $20, $25 range. I thought these were cool with the little patches on them. Um, Nike Sports Wear. And they are size medium. Did I say that? Yes. Also, I think they are in newer style. Uh, not so much. Uh, 2018. So on... Nike's tag, if you don't know, this little smaller tag tells you when it was made or released. And then it also gives you the style code, which you can look up online and pull up exact information that you need for your listing. It helps a lot, helps you find stock photos if you use stock photos, helps you find the exact name. Um, you can also put that code in your title your listing title so that way if people are searching specifically for that item and they know the code the style code then they'll type that in and yours will pop up i do run my comps a lot with that code number so nike i'll punch in that code um and then it'll bring up you know everything i need to know about sell through rate and all that jazz next is a very spooky t-shirt i haven't listed this one or ran comps on this one. So it's Creep Show. Creep Show TV series. It just reminded me of Tales of the Tales of the Crept Creeped right? Crept. Tales of the Crept. Am I saying that right? It sounds so not right. Um this will probably I don't know maybe 10 15 dollars. I like creepy things. Um blank NYC which is not my favorite honestly but this is a size large a faux leather moto jacket this green color is what just got me i've never seen a green moto jacket and i thought this would be so cute for fall for, for winter christmas time this will probably only go for maybe 30. Um, i haven't ran comps or listed that one yet so we will see a few of these items i haven't listed but most of them i have Next is a new to me brand, Mizzen and Maine. Um, this one's not listed yet. I have no idea what I will post this for, but when I checked comps on this at the bins, I do remember it being pretty high and the sell through rate being um, good. So Mizzen and Maine, we will see. I wanna say 30 to 40. It is a men's button up. It's a really stretchy, like comfortable material. I think that's why. Oh, and it's made in the USA. That was my 
indicator to um, look it up and see. Anything made in the USA, I always look up, always. This is a brand called Side Stitch. It is a 100% linen kind of popover top. It is a small, and the selfie ray is not that great on this, <laughs> but I picked it up because it is linen. The brand specifically doesn't do the best, but I was hoping that the um, the content, material content, would help pull the sail through. It's a really cute kind of tunic style popover. Oh no. Oh no. Next, I'm actually giving these to my sister. She is pregnant right now. This is a brand I probably won't pick up anymore. It's blanky. The selfie rate just isn't there anymore for me. I just have been sitting on these, this brand specifically for a very long time. So I picked these up originally thinking I would resell them, but after looking them up again, the selfie rate, yeah, just no bueno. So my sister is getting those. Next is a cute turtleneck sweater, Ralph Lauren Sport. It is an XL. It's a cable knit, kind of long line turtleneck sweater. So cute. I originally thought this was a men's, but it is actually a women's. It's 100% cotton. It is a vintage style. Has the little, little guy right there. And yeah, it could easily be worn. Let me see. It's super long, so maybe, you know, tunic style with some leggings, so cozy, or a dress maybe even for some people. Um, these are a pair of Aloe Moto leggings. These also don't have the best selfie rate, and these are an extra small, so I don't know what I was thinking when I grabbed these, honestly. I'm just bringing you guys here and we are sharing all my highs and lows because <laughs> I'm glad I did get these at the bins. So I paid maybe a dollar for them and I will probably get 15 to 20, honestly. And it may take a little bit for them to sell. But I think the larger size of the Moto leggings by Aloe do a lot better. Um, I would just run your comps on those. Those used to do really well for me, so I think that's why I kind of gravitated towards picking them up. They used to sell, you know, at one point I think I sold a pair of moto leggings for like 40 to 50. That may, may have been a couple years ago, but I think that's why I keep thinking that they're gonna do better than they do. J. Jill, love linen. I love finding this. It is a pink popover tunic. It has kind of like, a uh, tie-dye watercolor, um, I don't know what to call this. <laughs> it's not a print, it's just uh, just the color that it is. It's kind of faded in some spots and it is an XL, so great size. This one has a few watchers already. I have it up for I think $24.99. We've got good old Eileen. This is an extra large. It's a newer tag, so that's a good sign. And it is just an open knit kind of popover top. Very boxy, has like the cap sleeve. And yeah, I forgot what the material is. Um, Organic linen, cotton, nylon. This I have up for 40. And this also has a few watchers already. I'll probably get like 25 to 30 for that. Got L.L. Bean. I love picking up L.L. Bean. Newer and older styles do really well for me. This is just a cute little popover with the collar. It's a women's large. And L.L. Bean also has the item ID number on their material tags. And that is what I use to look up the style, find stock photos, etc. So that's always nice. This I have up for $24.99. I'll probably get like between 15 to 20 for that. Next is a new tag, um, G. This is just a open front kimono and it is a 1XL slash 2XL. This is very cute. 
very boho. It's very, it's very, very long. So might not be able to see it fully, but this I have up for, I think $39.99 because it is new with tag and it is a larger size. They do sell pretty consistently from what I could see. I've never sold one myself, but it is now not really summertime. So we will see how that one does. Next is a brand called Copper and Zinc. Again, not really in the season, but I wanted to give this a shot. This is a one piece swimsuit leopard print. Very, very cute. I think it's a size small. Yeah, size small. This brand does have some pieces that sell for quite a bit of money. This one I couldn't find anywhere. I, I didn't find a single other one that looked like this that was sold and they were more so sold on Poshmark, not eBay. So um, I have mine, I think for 50, but some of their one pieces pre-owned were selling, you know, $75, 50 to 75. So I just priced that one at 50 because I couldn't find any, any comps on it. So we'll see how that does. Oh my gosh, this is all all scrumbled up as my daughter says <laughs> every every time anything is messed up she, she says it's scrumbled it's scrumbled up um this is a peter millar 2xl polo shirt i've never sold this brand um but i wanted to give it a shot the selfie rate was pretty good this also smelled amazing that's so creepy i know but it, it really did smell so good and <laughs> I wish I knew what it was, but this I have up for, um, I think 25 to 30. Next is Dutch Bros. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but I, every time I find this, I have to buy it at the bins. It's just a really cute kind of windbreaker rain jacket. It's a small women's small I'm assuming and it is a longer line it has the little tie at the bottom and I have it up for I think 30 there were a lot listed so I'm not sure how quickly this will sell but I think now that it is, it is um, gonna be rainy season here in the Pacific Northwest I, I believe it will sell this is a third love kind of um, shapewear tank top size small this not much for this 10 to 15 I think I have it listed for 15 this is a brand that recently learned about I fit fit I guess I'm probably saying that wrong this is a vintage tag um let's see size medium I believe made in the USA. Yes, made in the USA. That's why I picked it up. This is a long thermal, like floor length maxi dress, just straight waffle knit thermal, <laughs> long sleeve. It has these really cute details on the cuff. And um, from what I can remember, the, the vintage style from this brand was selling you know, more so there weren't very many listed at all. And I believe they were only on eBay. I didn't see any on Poshmark, but I have this one up for 50. Um, it is floor length. It is super long. I held it up to me. I am five, five and it was, you know, to the, to the floor, it would have been dragging if I would have worn it. So either that's what somebody's looking for or somebody who's maybe like five, eight, Five, seven five eight and up this would be perfect for them or you could hem it um it does have the little lettuce hem on the bottom though so it wouldn't be the same if you hemmed it um but this is a very modest dress i made sure to put that uh keyword in my title to help it sell We've got two more. We're flying through this. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. I have plans for more haul videos coming soon. I have plans for more like what sold with me videos. I know that those are su super helpful. 
I love watching them. And I think that now that my sales are starting to pick up because summertime was super slow, um, like a lot of people and they're starting to pick up. Thankfully I can breathe again. Um, but I'm busy. I'm busy listing, shopping, shipping, all the things. So I'm hoping to squeeze in some what sold with me videos. This is just a free people. What's the size? Medium. I just thought it was a super cute thermal. Oh, it's not really a thermal actually, but this is a nice little, um, accent to it. And it does have the elbow patch and the cuff knit sleeves. It is longer. So it's a tunic style, super cozy for fall, winter with some leggings. I believe I have that one up for 20. And lastly is another J Jill Love Linen. Love this brand. It is a small, so not my favorite size in this brand, but it has the cutest little elephants on the bottom. And it is just a little popover sleeveless blouse. This one I have up for $24.99. I'll probably get 15 to 20 for this. And that is all she wrote. That's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe, comment, say hello. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.